Good morning, everyone. Thank you, Benjamin, for having me. Congratulations to the Elrond team for setting up such a great event in the center of Paris. Very happy to be uh, with you this morning uh, to, uh, to send you a, a, a message about France. Um, there are two defining trends that are shaping the future of uh, Internet, Web3 and the metaverse. And I'm going to try and convince you with my French accent in a few minutes why France is the place to be for those who intend to develop and invest in Web3 and the metaverse. France is the place to be for those who invest or who want to invest or develop the Web3. Let me remind you that Internet was actually invented in the 70s in a French lab by a guy that was called Louis Pouzin. So yes, we failed to turn this into a market-wide uh, innovation, and uh, the US did the, the heavy lifting. But here in France, we care deeply about the original nature of the Internet, which is a, a collaborative, decentralized space that allows for a lot of collaboration. And Web3, because it allows for different modes of sharing governance and sharing value, will most likely overcome some of the limitations of Web2. It will provide for more security, for more privacy, for more interoperability, and therefore it will contribute making the Internet a better place. And France, again, will be, uh, or is already, the place to be for Web3. Why is that? Well, first, we've got the talent. We've got some of the best engineering schools in uh, the world, very, st very strong uh, math skills, physics skills, and already a lot of majors uh, building up within our top engineering schools dedicated to Web3 and its applications. We have the talents and we have the companies. We already have global leaders in their field. I'm thinking about Ledger. I'm thinking about Sorar. I'm thinking about other uh, players at the, at the forefront of this revolution, uh, like the Sandbox, for instance. We have the companies and we have the regulation and the re regulator. We have great regulation and great regulators. We have regulators that have understood what Web3 is about, and in particular, what crypto is about. And as you, as you know, we found in France five years ago the way to strike the right balance in regulation between the protection of consumers on the one hand and innovation on the other hand. Under the guidance of uh, President Macron and with Bruno Le Maire, who is the Minister of Economics and Finance, we've set up uh, a license and registration called PSAN, or CASPS in, uh, in English, that strikes the right balance and allows for protection of investors and consumers on the one hand, and innovation to thrive uh, on the other hand. It was such a, a great regulation that actually Europe took its inspiration from France, and the future, or the, actually the, 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 yes, the future regulation, regulatory framework for crypto assets, which is which is known as Mika, and that most of you in the room already know, is directly inspired by, by what we've done in France. And this is the reason why our PSAN registration and licensing has been so successful. We have already 50 players that have obtained the license, the PSAN license, and we've attracted some of the global leaders in this field. I'm thinking Binance, I'm thinking Crypto.com. So we've been successful at finding the right path for regulation for crypto assets. And there is no doubt that we will strike the right balance for other applications of the Web3, such as NFT, such as decentralized finance. Okay, so for all these reasons, because we have the talents, because we have the companies, because you have the regulators and the regulation, France is the place to be for Web3. But France is also the place uh, to be uh, for uh, metaverse. And uh, let me say something up front. We will not let anyone tell us what the metaverse should be, who the metaverse should be owned by, or what device you should use to access the metaverse. 
we have our own view of what the metaverse should be. It should be a space that is interoperable, that should be open, that should be immersive and persistent, of course, and that should be conscious of its environmental impact. It should be open to many different kinds of, uh, of metaverse, and it should open the way for many innovations that, are, that will be very useful for our citizens in terms of how we are going to reshape industry, education, health, and of course, culture. And for metaverse, France has a lot of assets. First, it, it owns some of the key technological layers. I'm thinking digital twins, I'm thinking the video, video game industry, right? As you know, immersive space have been around for a long time uh, now, and French major international corporations have uh, provided for these immersive spaces for a number of uh, usages. So it has some of the technological layers, making it a very fruitful ecosystem. It also has a cultural sort of tradition that is already engaging in the metaverse. In this very room where you're sitting this morning, Jean-Michel Jarre, our international star for electronic music, played the first ever concert in the metaverse two weeks ago. So you see you're in the right place to discuss the metaverse during the X day because we had this first ever experience of a musical uh, of a musical metaverse uh, two weeks ago in this very building, in this very, in this very room. And finally, we have, we have the technological layers, we have a cultural scene that is already engaging. I mentioned Jean-Michel Jarre, I could also mention the NFT factory that was opened uh, a couple of days ago in Paris. But most of all, we have a plan. President Macron committed to build a European metaverse, a European metaverse which is a, a concept as, a, a, as well as a commitment to build metaverse that are consistent with our uh, European values. And last week, with the culture minister, we received a report written by very serious scholars that opens up our reflections around what should be the metaverse, how we should address regulation, how we should address acceptability of the metaverse, and how we should support the emergence of uh, a European metaverse. So right, for Web3, as well as for metaverse, France is the place to be. But I would conclude by saying that France is also, and perhaps even more importantly, the place to be for those who want to bring together Web3 and the metaverse. As I said earlier, Web3 is going to help overcome some of the limitations of Web2. And if we want to build a metaverse that is secure, that is interoperable, uh, and that helps address some of the big challenges ahead of us, we will be able to draw from the blockchain-able technologies uh, to make it possible uh, in the metaverse. This is the reason why, dear Benjamin, I was so impressed when you showed me last time we met some of the things that you will be unveiling in these next uh, couple of days. And that is the reason why I believe it would make a lot of sense for Elrond to make France its base camp as, uh, as Elrond ventures into, uh, into the metaverse. So thank you very much to Benjamin, to the Elrond team for setting up such a nice event in Paris. Enjoy these two or three days of discussions and presentations of these very innovative solu solutions. And uh, whether you intend to invest in the, in the Web3, develop solutions in the metaverse, or even better, bring together Web3 or the metaverse, you will be most welcome in France. Thank you very much, and see you soon. Okay. Thank you.